All right, coming up next, it's a lightweight bout between TJ Dillashaw and Alexander Volkanovsky. So here he is, the UFC featherweight champion, Alexander Volkanovsky. It's a title he always thought he would have. He just needed the opportunity, and you all saw what he did in outclassing the all-time great Max Holloway. Alexander Volkanovsky is the total package. We make a lot about his rugby league career, and at one point, he was a 214-pound athlete who was an absolute marauder. But now it has felt 145 pounds. He truly has every skill befitting a long-reigning champion. This division has a bunch of killers in it. Right now, they're all chasing the Volk man, Alexander Volkanovsky. Well, he was a three-time NCAA qualifier as a Cal State Fullerton wrestler. He is a former two-time UFC Bantamweight champion. He is Tyler Jeffrey Dillashaw, and he is ready to add to his legacy here tonight. And for all those wrestling accomplishments, he doesn't even need to use it. He's become a great striker under Dwayne Ludwig, a guy that can beat you with kicks, a guy that can beat you with the boxing, and the footwork is something that we haven't seen in the UFC for a very long time. TJ Dillashaw is one of the greatest Bantamweights of all time. And he is truly in his element on fight night. Absolutely loves the bright lights and everything that fight night entails. Another big spot for Dillashaw here tonight. Our tale of the day for this, our main event of the evening. Dillashaw is three years his senior. Volkanovski will have a four inch reach advantage. To get us started with the official introductions, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 25 wins, one loss. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Alexander the Great Volkanovsky! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding professional record of 18 wins, 4 losses. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, T.J. Dillashaw! All right, you can lose in the locker room. I want you to be my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times, on a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, about your phones, come out other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys are well rounded. You think we're getting a kickboxing match tonight or what? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. It's a close fight on paper and also in every performance we have seen them put on. These guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. 
visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg is so beat up. It's red, it's all beat up, he's limping, he's turning away. There are so many things that he is doing wrong now because of the leg damage he's taking. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, he engages in the single power tie. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. That is a cutting leg kick. Timing the shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Just out of range with that right hand. Man, striking class is in session. Beautiful punch there. Great job landing. What a damaging punch. Oh! Oh! Dillashaw with a kick there to the body. Again going back to the jab just out of range. Strikes and counting now have landed for TJ Dillashaw. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Right hand punch the clip. Ooh. Oh man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you see him drive his shin into his opponent. Oh, and now he lands the knee. I'm not sure his opponent saw that coming. Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. My goodness! Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and the best fighters in the world are those who make adjustments. He hasn't made many so far. Yes, he needs to make adjustments. So, one thing you can do is close the distance. Don't give him the space to leg kick you over and over again. Get close. Fight from the clinch. Take that leg kick away by managing the distance. Attempts the front kick there. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jet. Well, the champ Volkanovski continues to keep his opponent guessing here tonight. You lower the guard and he goes upstairs and was able to land the right hand there. Landed that beautiful right hand. But if you start thinking like if you start thinking right hand, Alexander Volkanovski will change levels and explode into you. And when he gets his hands locked, you're going for a ride. This guy's a full-on mixed martial arts fighter. Dillashaw gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Big right hook coming. It's blocked. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, Volkanovski's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Volkanovski gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Beautiful kick. Number one. Up, up in the left hand. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they separate. Dillashaw gets stung by that leg kick. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Just out of range with that uppercut. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights, DC. A lot of leg kicks for good measure in that round. I mean, leg kicks are the key. You watch people win fights with just leg kicks, especially in this game. I mean, it is my strike of choice. I love the animation when I've landed so many leg kicks that my opponent just kind of waves me off and the fight gets stopped. Keep throwing them. If they're not going to check them, keep throwing the leg kick. All right, five minutes are done. Now we get to the second round. TJ Dillashaw Let's go versus Alexander Volkanovski. 
And Volkanovski gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Trying to find a home for that right hand. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, nice takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. Over and over. You come up. All right, so a near perfect entry there, and finally he gets his first takedown of the fight. And they say, if at first you don't succeed, try, try again. Was able to get him down. There. Persistence pays, and that's what we saw with this young man. Over and over, he shot for takedowns. He tried to mix it up, and he got defended. But eventually, he got it done. Now, what does he do with this top four? Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Close guard. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Dillashaw. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you've got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend. You can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Well, you got to be working off of your back. He's certainly doing so here. Nice punch. Man, this is some serious ground and pound here, DC. He's not just staying busy for the sake of staying busy. These strikes are doing damage. Oh, yeah. No pity pat for this guy. This guy's trying to land. He's trying to land effective strikes. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Dillashaw. All right, hammer fist here by Volkanovski. He's putting him in exactly the position he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here, and he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Working out of the half guard here. Side control now. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Dillashaw. Volkanovski's lower jaw very swollen now. Time to bite down on the mouthpiece and move forward. All right, so pretty good damage here with the ground and pound. Nothing superficial about these strikes. They are intending to harm. Oh, yeah, he's landing very accurately, and he's landing to get damage off. Under two minutes to go. I mean, how many can he take? Some serious punches from the top here. He's continuing to maintain good posture and making these strikes count. He's doing a really good job of watching pretty up and making his punches count while not putting himself in danger. Back mount now. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Oh, Volkanovski's back in full mount. Outstanding ground and pound here. Somewhat of a lost art in MMA, at least in terms of making sure that every strike counts. Not an issue for him. He's making every single one of them count. He is not pity pad. He's not touching. Every punch that lands, he wants you to feel it. While working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Volko. So he postures up here and now figures to rain down some ground strikes. Yeah, the ground and pound will be a plenty from this position. Working off his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Spinning back fist is there. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Looping left hand misses the target. All right, round three coming up next.
All right, so the round is over. You see, obviously, the fighter has a cut on his cheek sustained in that round, but better to be below the eye than above it. The cut man is in there trying to close it up. All right, let us look back at some of the action from that previous round. DC punches in bunches. I mean, over and over, he landed that big punch, and every time he landed it, he got the reaction that he was looking for. His opponent really did start to take notice every time he was loading that strike up. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. Big punch lands through the middle. Oh, nice left hook there from Volkanovski. Volkanovski is such a phenomenal fighter. I believe his confidence is what truly carries him to be so spectacular, to be so successful. He believes with every part of himself that he is the absolute best fighter in the world. Here's the kick blocked by Volkanovski. Oh, lands the overhand. How good is that? So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Big kick. Beautiful hit kick. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked. The hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. So look at the numbers, just under 200 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. And landing at a pretty good clip, 55% thus far tonight against TJ Dillashaw. That's hard to do. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Beautiful strike. Volkanovsky going for the leg kick. He does not connect. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh, and a nice jab by him there, and that's going to give his opponent some problems if that keeps landing. He's having a tough time getting his offense going because that jab is just stopping him every time. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. And he connects there with a punch, so pretty good striking display by him thus far. He throws everything so straight and so accurate. Well, DC, no denying he's winning this fight, and it's got to feel pretty good if you're a fighter. You put in the work, and it all comes together on a fight. When it all comes together, nothing feels better. To go out there and... Imp oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press it. He's got to go chase that finish. Looks like it did stun him a little bit. Back to the feet! Oh, big roundhouse attempt, just misses. That could have been lights out. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body. Double leg takedown attempt here, and that one is true. Nice job there to enter and ultimately plant his opponent on the mat. Now what does he do? That he's got his best shot off, finished the attack. Where does he go now from the top position? All right, a good ground and pound by him here, certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. Right hand on point. Oh, he postured up there, gained some valuable separation. And now, the ground and pound starts. Good work from the top here by Volkanovski. 45 seconds remain in the round. Well, the ground and pound is there once again. Strong work here by Volkanovski. Bottom 
Fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you got to be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Keeping busy here off of the sack. Nice offense from the bottom. Oh, tags him with the left. That left hand has been really effective. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head like through the canvas. He's one of the better right. ground and pound fighters oh. we have in the entire UFC. And you're seeing why. All right, so there's the horn. He got knocked down by a punch in that round, but he is able to survive. We'll see if they can make some adjustments. He's as tough as they come. He took that shot and he kept plodding forward. He got off of his butt. He got himself off of the canvas and tried to get right back to work. But he cannot take many more of these. You don't want to be the guy that's testing how tough that your chin is. All right, next round is underway. And if you look at these two guys in between rounds, it looks like they've barely broken a sweat, both with good resting heart rate, stamina still very high. And you just have to log the efforts of these guys in training. Both men certainly noted cardio specialists, but incredible that they would have this much in the tank after 10 plus minutes of fighting. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Liver kick. Well, Alexander Volkanovsky has never lost a pro fight at 145 pounds, and if his boxing is any indication, that is a record that is probably going to hold up after the time. I mean, Volkanovsky follows the game into a team. Whatever you set out in front of him, he is going to do, and he's going to do it at the highest level. We saw that in this fight against Max Holloway when he became the UFC featherweight champion. Nice, great punch. Another strike to the bottom. Oh, he dove and he lands. Wow. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. I mean, how many can he take? All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Volker. All right, working out of side control here. His opponent trying to control posture, but you got to be careful here. Oh, and he's able to land a strike there from the bottom. Nicely done by Dillashaw. Volkanovski's right back to the full mount. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Volta. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Dillashaw. I mean, how many can he take? All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Pretty good work with the strikes here off of his back by Dillashaw. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here, nice punch. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Dillashaw. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations, certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. If you're the bottom fighter, DC, what do you do? You got to move, you got to shrimp, you got to get off on a hip to try to move your opponent off of you or pull him down to close the space. Right punches there. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here from Ivo. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Real quick leg kick. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Volkanovski. Leg 
kick checked by Dillashaw. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. And they separate. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block! Nice punch land. Oh! Good series of strikes for him there. Staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. Certainly a lot for our replay guys to work with in the truck. This was a clinic tonight in terms of mixed martial arts acumen in every realm of the game. And once he got to the top, he started to land brutal ground and pound until the fight was called off. Just a dominant performance from the top position. And here we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Wigley out there has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 56 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexander the Great Bonanowski! Oh, there he is after a huge knockout win tonight. You going to the after party or what? I mean, I'm heading over there right now, John. <laughs> I'm asking the producers, how soon can I get up? Because it's going to be a party over there. Not only because of the knockout, but that extra bonus check he's going to be carrying to the club tonight.